this video we're going to talk about some special covalent bonds. We'll start here with molecular oxygen. Molecular oxygen is found as a diatomic element, so it has two oxygen atoms bond to itself. And we want to see the uh, structural formula for oxygen here. So the first thing we'll do is draw a Lewis structure for each one of these oxygens. If we look on the periodic table, oxygen is here in group 6, and so it has six valence electrons. So we can put those six valence electrons around each oxygen. Now almost all atoms want to follow the octet rule, which states that uh, an element is going to try to have eight valence electrons. So these oxygen atoms are going to pair up and share their unpaired electrons. Electrons always want to be in a pair. So these two at the top are going to be paired up. And then the only other option here is that oxygen is going to pair up the ones at the bottom as well. If they do that, then each oxygen is going to view, view its own electrons um, as its electrons, and then it'll also view the ones that it's sharing uh, the ad as additional electrons. And so each oxygen now has eight valence electrons. Let's rewrite this as a structural formula, redraw it here, and we can put this, what we call a double bond between the two oxygens. And so this is our first special type of covalent bond, it's a double bond. And so some elements may share more than just one electron in a bond. Okay, here's our next example, molecular nitrogen. It's also found diatomic, so two nitrogen elements bonded together. If we look at the periodic table, uh, we can see that nitrogen is over here in group five, and so it has five valence electrons. So let's put those around each of the nitrogens. And then we can start pairing up the unpaired electrons. So we'll pair up these two at the top, pair up these two at the bottom, and then we can also pair up these two in the middle. And so nitrogen is actually gonna form what we call a triple bond. And so sometimes elements will even share three electrons uh, in a bond. Now the maximum amount of uh, bonds to have is really a triple bond. You don't have a quadruple bond ever happening. Now a triple bond is actually a lot stronger than a double bond, which is even stronger than a single bond. It's almost like if you've ever had a string and if you have that string on its own and you pull it hard enough, you could probably break it. If you were to fold that string over, and grab onto both ends now, uh, it would be a little bit stronger. And if you could even fold that again and, and triple it up, it'd be even stronger so. And as you could probably see here, it would also get shorter. So a single bond is actually the longest bond, a double bond is a little bit shorter, and then a triple bond uh, is the shortest of all the bonds. It's the strongest, but it's also the shortest. And that's two special covalent bonds, double and triple bonds.